Hey yogis, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassandra and today we're going to do a quick energizing core flow. No props required for this practice and we are going to begin on hands and knees in tabletop pose. So tabletop pose, fingertips need to spread wide, putting a lot of weight into the fingertips and knuckles and less into the wrists. And we'll just warm up the spine through cat and cow. So as you inhale, drop your belly, lift the gaze, curl tailbone up. Exhale, round your spine, chin to chest, drop your head. And keep going here through these two movements with your breath, really emphasizing the stretching of the front of the belly, so getting into those abdominals and also expanding and broadening through the upper back. Firm up through your arms and try to squeeze the upper arms towards one another as if you're hugging onto a big beach ball, engaging the pectorals, the biceps, the shoulders a little bit. Take your last full cycle here. One more inhale as you round and exhale to contract Come back to a neutral tabletop pose so your spine is parallel to the floor and with your toes pointed back behind you, just push into the tops of the feet and lift your knees and shins to hover off the ground, just an inch or so. We're not lifting the hips up too high. You should feel the core engage. Think of lifting your belly towards your low back. Reach the crown of your head forward and slide your shoulder blades down your back. Two more breaths here. and set the knees back down to the ground. Walk your hands forward, take your puppy stretch. Forehead and heart melting down to the ground, lengthening out through your arms. Pull the navel in towards the low back. Just opening through your shoulders and slide forward into your sphinx pose, onto your belly. Spread the fingertips wide, open up through your chest and push your shoulders back. So a little back bend here as you open up through the heart. Inhale here and exhale, lower all the way down and just slide your palms back a little bit. We'll take three baby cobras so the feet stay glued to the mat. As you inhale, curl chin, chest and hands off the mat. Exhale to lower back down twice more like this. Inhale, squeeze and lift up, engage through the shoulder blades. Exhale to lower. Last one, inhale, lift up. Exhale to release. Hands under your shoulders, tuck your toes under. Lift the kneecaps off of the ground by really squeezing and engaging through your quads. Tailbone reaches towards your heels and then reverse your push up. Inhale to plank pose. Exhale, we find our first downward facing dog. So go ahead and paddle the feet. You can sway a little bit side to side. Just notice if there's any tension in the hamstrings or in the low back. Pressing firmly through the palms, through the fingertips. So nothing changes in the upper body from this down dog as you inhale. Just lift your heels as high up as they'll go, coming onto the balls of the feet. And then exhale, push the heels down. Twice more like this. Inhale, heels come up nice and high. Exhale, push them back down. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale to release. And the next time your heels lift, come all the way forward into your plank pose, shoulders over your wrist, belly draws in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Twice more, just like a wave. Inhale, hips lift up, ripple forward through the spine. Exhale, downward dog. Last one, inhale, come forward to plank. Drop your right knee and right shin to the floor. Roll to the inner edge of that left foot and find your modified side plank. So your left arm extends up to the sky. Doing something a little bit different from this pose. See if you can get all four corners of that back foot to touch the mat. Push into your left foot and just see maybe the right knee can hover off the ground. Push into the feet, lift your pelvis up even higher. Take one more big breath, you should feel this one. Find your three-legged dog, left hand down, right leg goes up and back. Bend your right knee, open up your hip. Squeezing into the glutes to lift that knee up even higher. As you inhale, straighten and square that right leg. Exhale, tap your knee to your nose, come forward to plank. Inhale, three-legged dog, reach it back. Exhale, squeeze, pull it in. Last one, inhale, reach. 
exhale look past your hands and step that foot through between the palms back knee can come down to the floor arms extend low lunge so from this low lunge we'll take a cactus shape with the arms you can bend your elbows at a 90 degree angle cat and cow very similar to what we did on hands and knees as you inhale open up the chest squeeze the shoulder blades back exhale round and contract bring your forearms together two more with your breath open and exhale contract last one inhale and exhale fingertips come down to the floor either just go to down dog or you can take your vinyasa if you're taking your flow inhale to plank exhale chaturanga inhale back bend of your choice and we meet downward facing dog from your down dog inhale forward plank pose exhale lift the hips up and back so just repeating on the second side inhale all the way forward belly is engaged exhale push into the heels last one inhale come forward drop your left knee and shin down to the floor roll to the inner edge of that right foot and reach up with your right hand find the alignment first push down into all four corners of that right foot and then maybe pick up and float the left knee off the ground working on the left side of your obliques working into the waist push into the feet push into the palm lift up even higher three-legged dog right hand down left leg up bend your left knee open up your hip squeeze into the glutes straighten and square your left leg exhale tap your knee to your nose come all the way forward hips are low inhale three-legged dog exhale squeeze it in inhale lift it up exhale to squeeze look forward and step that foot through back knee lowers to the mat so my knee is directly over the top of the ankle as i lift up cactus shape with your arms bend your elbows as you inhale find a back bend exhale contract and round two more inhale and exhale last one open squeeze it in take your flow or simply skip it and go to down dog inhale to plank exhale chaturanga inhale back bend downward facing dog from this downward dog go ahead and let your knees come down to the mat you're going to come down onto your forms interlacing your fingers grounding down through your knuckles and keep your elbows a little bit more narrow than your shoulders we just don't want the elbows to slide out mm -hmm. From here, step your feet back and widen your feet so they're a little bit more wide than your hips, more towards the edges of the mat. Inhale to center, exhale, both heels drop down to the right and drop the hips a little bit. Inhale, back up, exhale, switch sides. Keep going like this, following your own breath rhythm. Inhaling to center and exhaling to drop the heels. We want to do about five on each side. Try to keep your hips nice and low. It's definitely the hardest part. Crown of the head reaches forward. This is a great energy booster and a great way to work through the obliques. Once you finish your cycle of five, let your hips come down to the floor. Find your Sphinx pose once more. Close your eyes. Slowing down the heart rate, slowing down the breath. And as you exhale, release all the way back down. This time, let's come up to Locust Pose rather than doing our baby Cobras. You can reach your arms back behind you. Start by peeling the upper body off the mat. And if your lower back feels okay, you can go ahead and lift your legs as well. So reaching through the fingertips. If you can't breathe here, it's because you've gone up too high. Think of lengthening the crown of your head further away from your toes. Squeeze and lift up a little more. And exhale to release. You can just flip on over onto your back. 
bending your knees so your feet are flat to the ground. Bring your feet hip width distance apart here. Release your arms by your sides. Start to push your feet into the ground, curl tailbone up, lift your hips, low back and mid back off the mat. Once you find that height, notice if the knees are widening, try to squeeze in through the inner thighs and push into your big toes. Root down through your heels and drag them back towards your shoulders. Squeeze and lift up a little bit higher. And exhale, slowly lower back down. Stack your shins parallel to the floor so your knees are bent at a 90 degree angle. And you can reach out with your arms in the shape of a T with your palms facing down on the ground. So spread the fingertips wide. Push your lower back into the floor, and if that makes your knees come forward, realign them over the top of your hips without closing or without making a gap in your low back. You're going to inhale to hover as you are, and on the exhale, just let your knees and your legs drop down at a 45 degree angle towards the left. Inhale, come all the way back to center. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, over to the left. Come all the way up, keep your knees in line with your hips, not towards the belly. Exhale. Last one on each side. Working the obliques. Last one, over to the right. Come all the way back up and release, pull your knees into your belly, give it a big squeeze. Maybe rock a little bit side to side. And we'll take a little mini Shavasana, not here too, too long. This is a short practice just to get our energy levels back up. If you need a little pick me up during midday, give yourself a few breaths here to close your eyes and to feel the effects of those poses and those transitions. Notice the effects on your body, on your mental alertness, on your breath, and even on how you feel now as opposed to when you first stepped on your mat. And this is where I will leave you, yogis. Thank you so much for doing this practice with me. Please do subscribe to my channel if you don't already. Namaste.